The first overall pick of the Major League Baseball draft is normally on the fast track to the show. They are can't-miss prospects who are projected to be the cornerstone of the franchise that selects them for years to come. Some of these first picks, like Alex Rodriguez, Joe Maurer, David Price, Steven Strasburg, and Bryce Harper, would go on to live up to the hype of the first overall pick and become superstars for their teams. In addition, a trio of Hall of Famers and Harold Baines, Ken Griffey Jr., and Chipper Jones went first overall in their respective drafts. The 2004 Major League Draft saw a plethora of talent get selected in the first round. Of the 41 picks, 34 of them eventually made the Major Leagues. The Oakland Athletics took two-time All-Star and 2005 American League Rookie of the Year, Houston Street, at 40. The Chicago White Sox snagged two-time All-Star Gio Gonzalez at 38. The Yankees took 2010 All-Star and 2009 World Series champion Phil Hughes at 23, right after the Minnesota Twins picked up three-time All-Star Glenn Perkins at 22. 2012 All-Star and Silver Slugger winner Billy Butler became a Royal at pick 14, while three-time All-Star, two-time win leader, and 2010 strikeout leader Jared Weaver went to the Angels at 12. Future Hall of Famer, eight-time All-Star, two-time Cy Young Award winner, 2011 American League MVP Justin Verlander became a Detroit Tiger when they took him with the second overall selection. That means there was a better prospect than one of the best pitchers of all time in Verlander, a future member of Cooperstown. With the first overall selection in the 2004 Major League Baseball Draft, the San Diego Padres selected a shortstop named Matt Bush, who would be converted into a pitcher and serve more than three years in prison before making his Major League debut. Matt Bush was born in San Diego, California and played baseball at Mission Bay High School. As a senior, he was ranked as the third best high school player in America by perfect game, and with good reason. At the plate, he hit an astonishing 450 while belting 11 home runs and driving in 35 runners. On the mound, he used his mid-90s fastball to achieve a 5-1 record with a pair of saves to complement a .73 ERA. He's considered one of the best two-way prospects of all time, and his hometown team took notice. The Padres took Bush with the first overall selection in 2004 as a shortstop and gave him a $3.15 million signing bonus. Bush became the first shortstop drafted first overall since the Seattle Mariners took a kid named Alex Rodriguez in 1993. But Bush's off-the-field trouble would begin before he played a game for the Padres. A couple weeks after being drafted, Bush was arrested after fighting a security guard who was kicking him out of a bar and charged with disorderly conduct. He would return to play 29 games for the Padres rookie ball and single-A teams, hitting a disappointing 192. He returned to the Padres single-A team in 2005 and played nearly a full season, but his hitting didn't improve much. He hit just 221 across 126 games for the single-A Fort Wayne Wizards. As he trained and prepared for the 2006 season, his third in professional baseball, Bush experienced his first physical setback. While in spring training, Bush broke his ankle, which sidelined him for a majority of the season. He would come back and play the final 22 games of the season, hitting 264. While that is an improvement, it's nowhere near the expectations set for the former number one overall pick. Bush's career began to take a positive turn in 2007 when the Padres decided to try him out as a pitcher. His fastball had climbed to 98 miles an hour while his hitting continued to dwindle, so they figured they'd give him a shot on the bump. Bush would pitch in seven and two-thirds professional innings, striking out 16 and only allowing one run. But after a promising start to his pitching career, Bush tore his UCL and required Tommy John surgery. This would keep him out for the remainder of the 2007 and the entirety of the 2008 season. Just as Bush looked like he was ready to make a return to baseball, his off-the-field issues set him back even further. He was involved in an altercation at a high school party in San Diego, in which he drunkenly beat up a high school lacrosse player with a golf club while shouting the now infamous phrase, I'm Matt f***ing Bush. <laughs> Among the charges here, resisting arrest, driving under the influence, and vandalism. Bush is currently facing assault charges stemming from an incident back in February. Bush's second arrest as a member of the Padres would be his last, as the Padres traded him shortly afterwards. His new club, the Toronto Blue Jays, issued a zero-tolerance policy on him, which they were very strict about. A little over a month after being traded to the Blue Jays, Bush was involved in an altercation with a woman after she allegedly drew on his face at a party. Bush reportedly threw a baseball at her and missed, thankfully, while banging on her car. He would be released by the Blue Jays the next day and not play professional baseball in 2009. In early 2010, Bush signed a contract with the Tampa Bay Rays, but injuries limited him to just 13 and two-thirds innings. He pitched well during that time, 
striking out 20 while allowing just 5 runs for the Rays' single-A affiliate. 2011 saw Bush being promoted to the double-A Montgomery Biscuits, serving as one of their back-end bullpen relievers. While his 4.82 ERA over 50 innings aren't eye-popping numbers, his 77 strikeouts were. Bush would be promoted to the AAA Durham Bulls late in the season, but would not appear in a game for them. Bush was expected to start the 2012 season at Durham and likely earn a promotion to the big club shortly afterwards, but on March 22, 2012, Bush was arrested for the third time, this time the most severe. He was arrested and charged with two counts of DUI with property damage, one count DUI with serious body injury, and leaving the scene of an accident with injury after he hit an elderly motorcyclist and fled the scene. He was caught shortly after with a .18 BAC, nearly double the legal limit. Bush would spend the 2012 baseball season in a jail cell waiting to be arraigned instead of on the mound. He was officially released by the Rays in October. In December of 2012, Bush accepted a plea deal and was sentenced to 51 months in prison for his actions. After serving just over three years, Bush was released from prison in October of 2015, serving 39 of the 51 originally sentenced months. While Bush still had personal demons and legal battles to handle, his desire to play baseball was still strong. Less than two months after his release, Bush threw a bullpen for the Texas Rangers in hopes of securing a contract. After his release from prison, one of the conditions that Bush agreed to was his travel was restricted, which included his job in Golden Corral. This means that he had to hold his tryout in the parking lot of the restaurant he was working in. After impressing scouts, Bush was signed in that same parking lot. After pitching just 17 innings for the Rangers AA affiliate in 2016, his first professional outings in nearly four years, Bush received the call he never thought he'd get, that he was going to the major leagues. On May 13, 2016, Matt Bush pitched a perfect ninth inning for the Rangers, retiring Josh Donaldson, Jose Bautista, and Edwin Encarnacion in order. Just two short days later, on May 15, 2016, Bush would pick up his first Major League win in a relief appearance against the Blue Jays in a game you might remember. He would hit Jose Bautista, which would be the first base runner he would ever allow in his Major League career, which would spark the now infamous brawl between Bautista and Rubin and Ordor. Beltrake ducked off a rough, tough hop, and the throw is wide down the line, and there we got a final shot. Bautista picked on the wrong guy as Ordor came right at him, and we got the benches. The bench is empty in that. There's some pent up emotion going on out of Globe Live Park. Well, Bautista got the worst of that exchange. Bush would endure success as a member of the Rangers bullpen. From 2016 to 2018, Bush would pitch in 136 games to the tune of a 335 ERA, picking up 10 wins, 11 saves, and 138 strikeouts during his three seasons in Arlington. After struggling during the beginning of the 2018 season, Bush was demoted to AA to help him fix his command. In September, he underwent surgery on his UCL to fix a small tear. After rehabbing and recovering, Bush returned to the mound in 2019, but his elbow had failed him once again. By July of 2019, Bush had fully torn his UCL for a second time and underwent his second Tommy John surgery. His future with the Rangers is somewhat secure as he signed a two-year minor league deal in December of 2019 while recovering from his second surgery. Matt Bush has faced and overcame numerous legal, personal, and professional obstacles in his life. He has gone from number one overall pick to convict to major league baseball player. While Bush is not a perfect person, his perseverance can show you that anything is possible if you believe in yourself. 